a Red Riding Hood. What is her name? <laughs> the Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood was a lovely and cheerful girl. She loved to wear her Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother called out to her. Little Red Riding Hood, your grandma is unwell. Please take this basket of hot breads and hot pumpkin soup to her. Sure, Mom. I would love to see Grandma. Good girl, but be careful on your way. Don't wander in the woods and don't stray away from the main road. And especially, don't talk to any strangers on the road. So Little Red Riding Hood set out carrying the basket for her grandma. Lost in her own thoughts and humming a song, she soon forgot what her mother had told her. Little Red Riding Hood spotted some beautiful and sweet-smelling flowers in the woods. Tempted, Little Red Riding Hood strayed away from the road into the woods to collect some flowers for her grandma. Hmm, flowers will surely cheer up grandma. As she was busy collecting flowers, a big bad wolf was lurking around, planning to eat up Little Red Riding Hood. But the cunning wolf thought for a while. Wait, I can hear the hunters and their dogs barking nearby. And if the girl screams, the hunters and their dogs will surely tear me into pieces. Let me wait for the right moment. Instead, the wolf tried to befriend Little Red Riding Hood. Hello, little girl. Don't be afraid. I don't like to eat humans at all. Are you new here? Little Red Riding Hood easily believed the sweet talks of the wolf and told him everything about her grandma and herself. Oh, I stay nearby. I am visiting my grandma with these hot snacks for her. She is unwell and lives alone just behind that big windmill. The big bad wolf now had a new plan. Foolish girl, let me reach Grandma's house from the shortcut. I will eat Grandma first and wait for this girl. <laughs> and then these yummy snacks too. Okay, I have to go now. See you soon. Bye. So as planned, the wolf took a shortcut and reached Grandma's house a bit early. Grandma, open the door. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. But Grandma was out to see the doctor nearby and had left the door unlocked. Seeing nobody at home, the cunning wolf entered the house. He wore Grandma's dress, spectacles, and her cap, and then lay covered in her bed. A little while later, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her Grandma's house. Grandma, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Open the door. Oh, dear. The door is open. Come in. But as soon as Little Red Riding Hood entered Grandma's room, she noticed that something was strange about Grandma. She hesitated to go close to her granny. Grandma, you seem to be very ill. Your ears have grown so long. Oh, so that I hear you well, my dear. And your eyes, so big and fierce. Oh, so that I see you well, my dear. And your teeth, so long and sharp. Just then, the real grandma was back home, and as she stepped into the room, she was shocked to see the wolf in her bed. The alarmed wolf jumped towards Little Red Riding Hood, saying, Sharp teeth, huh? So that I can eat you both. Little Red Riding Hood was scared at the sight of the wolf, but she kept her presence of mind. As soon as the wolf neared her, she splashed the hot pumpkin soup on the wolf's face. The soup was really hot. The wolf howled and cried in pain, was unable to see anything, and fumbled around the room. Oh, I, I can't see a thing! Seizing the opportunity, Grandma raised a big hue and crying called out for help. Help! Help! There is a wolf here! All the noise and commotion had put the neighboring hunters and their dogs on alert. 
hunters and their ferocious dogs chased the big bad wolf away into the woods. Ah, oh, someone save me from these dogs! I will never return to these woods! The big bad wolf was never seen or heard of again. Little Red Riding Hood hugged her grandma. Grandma, I am so sorry. I will never stray away in woods or talk to any strangers. I will always remember this lesson. What an evil wolf that was. So, it's better not to trust strangers. Yes, especially a big bad wolf. 